Hi, I'm Chelsea. I'm a pediatric speech language pathologist and a mama of two little ones. At Play Talk Love, I empower mamas with information and practical strategies so they can support the language development of their babies and toddlers. Today, I'm super excited to talk with you on Curious Neuron all about early literacy skills and really how that supports language development. Okay, so what are early literacy skills and why are they important? So early literacy skills are you know, really the skills our little ones develop even before they start reading and they are so important because they build that foundation for interest in reading and they build that foundation for language, for understanding and using language. So they're critical to our little one's development. And the more that we read, the research shows, the more we read with our little ones, the bigger their vocabularies are and the more set up they are for success in the future. So let's chat a little bit about what to expect when it comes to these early literacy skills and what we should be expecting by age. So in those earliest months, around three months, all the way to a year, really the literacy skills that are expected of our little ones are for them to chew and pat books. So a lot of people say, oh my gosh, all they will do is put this book in their mouth. Um, for them to enjoy shared reading as a part of everyday life with a parent or caregiver, and also for them to attend to bright pictures um, in a book. Also want to make clear that our little one's attention to books can vary, right? So we we want to continue to practice that with them and continue to keep it positive. Having shared book reading be a part of bedtime routine, like having them sit in your lap and read with you. And just even if they're flipping through the pages really quick, then that was one positive moment and move on and uh, not really forcing them into it, right? But just know that those are the skills that are expected from three years, three months to one year, right? So that's a big range, but really for them to enjoy shared book reading for once they get to about one to two years of age, those skills, of course, uh, become more advanced. So they would listen to um, regular rhymes and stories and songs. Uh, they would start to recognize some books by the cover. In that one to two year range, we'd also like to see them attending to a book for one to two minutes. We'd like to see them showing interest in um, turning the pages and participating in that way. We'd also start to see them pointing and labeling things in a book. And finally, we'd like to start seeing them pretend to read books, right? So that they would sit independently on their own and open up a book and pretend to read it. Obviously they can't yet, and that's okay. That's totally typical. Um, but to, to be engaged and show interest in the pictures in the book and be able to turn the pages independently, that's something that we'd be seeing from um, year one to year two. When we get to that two to three year range, what we like to start seeing is that our little ones can recognize logos out in the environment and print, um, that they would attend for longer periods of time to books that are being read to them. We should also start seeing that they're starting to hold that book correctly, right? So if they get it and it's upside down, that they would be able to turn it. And we'd also start to see a difference in their writing when they're using um, a crayon or whatever versus drawing. And in that three to four year range, we'd start to see them identifying letters and sounds. We'd start to have them uh, beginning to play those rhyming games and continue to recognize logos and environmental prints. And we'd start to see them showing more letter-like forms when they're writing. Um, we'd also like to start seeing them pretending to read to themselves and others, like actually saying words as they read, and especially in books that are familiar to them that they've read over and over again. Also, this is one of my favorite parts, right? Start to see them talking about characters in a book or what occurred in a book in a very simple way, but they might be able to uh, kind of tell you about who's in it and what happened. So I hope that you notice that none of that involves reading per se, right? It has to do with their understanding of what's occurring in a book, taking in what you're sharing, looking at the pictures and absorbing all of it and understanding it. And then yes, being able to express some of it, but none of that involves reading. And we did say, okay, they'll start to identify some letters and sounds and play rhyming games. But again, none of this is actual reading. Uh, and what I really want to emphasize is these are the important skills. This is more important than actually being able to decode, right? These are foundational skills that they really need to be able to decode, to be able to continue to identify letters and words. Um, we want them to be able to absorb a book when they get it, because uh, that will only help support their ability to truly decode and um, read later on. So ultimately, it's just so important as a parent to know what's expected at what age for these early literacy skills so that we can foster these skills and help support our little ones in their language development and cognitive development. So I have a ton of info on my page about ways to 
So ultimately, it's just so important as a parent to know what's expected at what age for these early literacy skills so that we can foster these skills and help support our little ones in their language development and cognitive development. So I have a ton of info on my page about ways to read with your little ones, even from the earliest moments, because it's truly such a magical and powerful tool that we can use as parents to support our little ones. So definitely come over to my page and check it out. Uh, I have some tips and tricks and book recommendations, all the things.